All right, guys, what's going on? This is uh, Cross, and uh, hmm, this is my diamond mine. This is my shaft. Ha. Nah, nah, not exactly. But uh, I kind of wanted to explain to you guys about finding some diamond, because I'm out, if you notice the iron pickaxes. Um, I decided to go mine some stuff before I continued building. I built a staircase in my little mansion thing, my new one. It's pretty, pretty, pretty goddamn awesome. But uh, we'll show you that in a bit. Um, I was mining down here, um, making my staircase. It's just a spiral staircase all the way down to bedrock. But now you can see what floor we're on. You have the X, Y, and Z axis, you know, all that. Uh, y is how far down you are, and you can see I'm on 17. So if I drop down one, bam, there's a diamond right there. Diamond spawns in, I believe, I think it's 1 to 16. Um, you're you're going to find it more often between 10 and 16. Uh Anywhere between 1 and 10, there's lava spawns and stuff like that. So you want to be careful, and you usually want to mine above that. Um, what I did, since I found this, I marked this off. I will not find diamond anywhere on this floor, because that is layer 17. They won't exist there. Um, the only layer I'm going to find it on is this one and below. That's why I put this little... Uh, I'm just going to call it white oak. I'm not sure what it is. I wonder if I could find out. Maybe it's just going to say wood. What is this? Oh, that's not what I want. Yeah, wood. Big deal. Uh, they don't have a specific name for it, but whenever I find um, diamond like this, usually what I do is I hollow out um, a decent area around it. That way I can see. I know I'm not going to find diamond here, but it's easier for me to walk around. And that's kind of what I want to do. Okay, so there's another piece. Let's see if we got more down here. Um, we got two pieces so far. And there's still the other side of that, so we're going to go ahead and get this one. All right, that's two, three... Four, eh, four. Is that all I got? All right, four chunks of diamond right here. Um, and that was between layers. Like right now, it should be on 15, 15 and 16. So you can see that it's going to spawn all around here. Um, the easiest way to find it is just mine. Um, let me show you guys my basic strategic um, way to do this. I'm probably going to stay over in this area for a while and continue building like different houses and stuff like that because it's kind of fun and exciting. But um, I want some diamond tools again. You can see my, my shovel here. It's taking some damage. It's not, not doing too hot. So what I'm going to do is establish this little... Oh, it's going to disconnect. I might need to uh, switch out my power source here real quick. Let me do that real quick. All right. So... Um, I'm not used to using this controller. This controller is a normal controller. It's made by uh, Imagine Customs. And I got that before I got my Scuf Gaming controller. Scuf Gaming controller is an MLG Pro controller. It's allowed in competitive use. And mine has trigger stops on it. Basically, um, underneath the right, like on the right and left trigger, like on the very end of it, like when you squeeze it, there's a little bead or a metal button, I guess you could say in a sense, and it prevents it from being squeezed down all the way. And that prevents me from actually uh, pulling the trigger down all the way, but I don't need to. It, it, I, all I have to do is like tap it and it'll shoot. Uh, this controller doesn't do that, so I can't. And let me see what I got here. I'm trying to figure this out. Okay. If I go to here, but um, I'm not used to having battery packs because I play with that one so often and I don't have to worry about it. Alright, I think that'll work because then I can see what's on the left side of the wall and on the right side. So we'll go two in between each one and then this one here. Uh, let's shuffle this a bit. Alright, and then we're going to dig this out a little bit more because I don't want all this gravel. Boy, stop it. Stop it. Damn you. Um, diamond's kind of a pain in the ass to find. I'm not going to lie. Like, there's easy ways to find it, in a sense. Like, e things, ways to make it more convenient for you. Um, but at the same time, it's it's tedious and it's annoying. But uh, we're going to make, we're going to do what we can and uh, have fun while we're doing it. All right. So let me just chop this on out of the way. Dun, 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 dun. All right. So we found diamond over here, right? Yeah, that was right here. So what I want to do is I'm going to go down this one. I'm going to tunnel a little bit. Maybe I'll find it. Maybe I won't. Uh, tunneling here, I know it's safe because I'm above layer 10. I'm not going to run into lava. Um, I shouldn't anyway, but I might run into a lot of gravel. This is ridiculous. Um, and bring torches with you. You can stick them on the walls as you go. 
Um, I don't want to stick that one there. Since I'm going to be mining this wall here, I'm going to, you know, obviously stick them on the left side. That way I don't have to knock down the wall to replace them again. Um, come on. I should have actually made this one layer lower. That way I could mine three rows at a time and increase my chance of finding diamond. But it doesn't matter. Um, it's all going to be the same for the most part. Uh, I should find some eventually. This is uh, the downside of Minecraft. Uh, more more mining, less adventuring. And usually I like more mining. Well, less mining, more adventuring. That's, that's usually what I enjoy. Uh, I like running around and building stuff. That's fun. Mining, on the other hand... It's a little tedious, it can be, uh, at times. Like this here, redstone. Gotta love your redstone. It is, mm-hmm, yeah, buddy. It is interesting. So, um, in other news, I wanted to mention something that I was working out with on uh, YouTube. I've been trying to uh, use the automatic upload schedule uh, thing. Basically, it allows me to pre-upload my videos and it allows me to get everything ready and then it posts them at a specific time. Now this has been out for a while, maybe a year, eh, half a year, something like that, six months maybe. And It hasn't really been the best tool. Um, everyone's always said, you know, sub boxes don't work, all this stuff, and blah 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 blah, and they've had trouble with it. But now they actually fixed it to where it should work, and I'm going to give it a shot. So that means I'm going to try to get some Road to Commander videos posted up and get some uh, Minecraft videos posted up. Hopefully like about five videos, um, so I'll have ten total, one of each type, um, each day. So that'll be ten videos in five days, and hopefully um, it should schedule them correctly um, probably around uh, three o'clock my time and maybe like seven o'clock, well maybe one o'clock my time and five o'clock my time as well is when I'll probably post them. It would be more convenient, I think, to do it that way. They're spaced out a little bit, and it kind of fits um, everyone's schedule. Everyone should be out of school by now, I would imagine. It's, you know, it's summer, and it sucks. It's hot. It's it's really hot, and I, and I don't enjoy it at all. Um, today it was like 117 degrees. Ooh, am I at the end of the map? Oh, no way! I tunneled to the end of the map. That's insane. Uh, basically, I can't destroy this, but if I remember right, there's a way to do it. You come... No, maybe not. Uh, there was a way that I used to be able to tunnel through it. I found it one time and I could knock out like two more blocks and it would be like bedrock up against the side or something like that. But yeah, that's the end of the tunnel. Um, so I can only go that far back. That's kind of a bummer, I guess. Um, I'm going to tunnel down this one and hope my luck changes. Maybe I'll find some diamond by the time I get down there. And there goes my pickaxe. So we're losing stuff. It's not cool. I don't like it. I don't like losing pickaxes. Mm, makes me sad. I need to get more. I haven't mined iron for a while, but I found some while I was making my uh, tunnel, my little mine shaft. And uh, I just picked up what I had along the way. Usually, I would recommend not doing that. If you guys are making a tunnel, and you're making it straight down, you know, doing whatever, you're making your staircase, don't worry about picking up all the iron ore and all the stuff on the side of it, unless you really need it. Because it's going to slow you down. You're not going to get to the bottom of the map as quickly. Um, you're not going to be able to, you're going to wear through your tools, digging unnecessary spots, you know, stuff like that. Just make your tunnel and get it to the bottom. That way you can start mining diamond quickly. You don't have to waste your time just picking up random stones along the way. Uh, you're going to waste a lot of time that way. Um, once you get your tunnel established, you can find iron, you can find you know diamonds, whatever you need, and stuff like that. So it's not a big deal. Man, I really hope I do find some diamonds. I'm going to be sad if I don't. I already found four, but you know I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind finding like a bunch, like 30 of them, like maybe 50. Is that, is that too green? Yeah, probably. A little bit. I like my diamonds. I really do. Right. I have to mine through this stuff anyway, or I'm um, on my way back. So it's not a, I'm just gonna take care of that right now. And come on. Come on. Dig, 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 dig. Wish I had a diamond pickaxe. Oh, wait. I can make one now. I wonder if I can actually do that right this very second. 
Um, let's just go crafting. No, I need a crafting table to make tools. I forgot. Um, I could probably build one, but I don't want to waste my time yet. I just want to kind of power through here until these tools disappear, and then I'll do it. Wasted enough time doing that. I wonder how close I am to the edge. Getting there. Getting there. This is kind of cool. Um, I didn't really think I would actually run. Um, this was the direction that I was mining, and I didn't plan on that. And sure enough, it's going to be toward the edge of the map. And that means once I make tunnels going that way, um, I'll hit that edge as well. And the only way I'll have to go is that way. Uh, if I make a tunnel that goes all the way across the map, I'm definitely going to install a railroad cart. Uh, I think that'd be kind of cool. A little train cart thing. Yeah, there's the end right there. Um, I can't dig through it, and it won't let me. It kind of blocks me out, which is sad. But, oh well, you know, the map's only so big. There's not like I can't dig anywhere else. It's not a big deal. Look at all this redstone. Like, this is an insane amount. I usually don't see that much in one area. I usually find, like, one or two blocks, and then just kind of, eh, that's about it. But you get a lot when you mine redstone. See, I have 45, and I, and I haven't been doing this for, like, five minutes, ten minutes, something like that. Something ridiculous. Uh, come on. Come on. Yo, we. Rawr. All right, we got it. It'll be okay. It'll be fine. Uh, peaceful mode when you're mining. I say, I kind of, I kind of would suggest it. That and when you're building. If you guys want to build a building and you don't want it, and you want to build it at nighttime and you don't want to worry about, you know, whatever monsters blowing it up, you know, kicking it, just whatever, spawning in there, you know, just being annoying and irritating. Uh, by all means change your difficulty like just lower it down a notch you're not gonna hurt anyone no one's gonna judge you i don't care and you don't have to worry about mobs spawning in down here um and walking up behind you and blowing you up that's another thing i had my stash at the original place where we built the castle speaking of which i probably need to finish but uh that's gonna be well because i need a lot of cobblestone to do that and when i actually built that i had a treasure chest down there to store all my stuff in and a creeper creeped up behind me and blew up almost destroyed my treasure chest and my items i was kind of kind of sad so that can't happen that's another reason to play on peaceful if you're down in a mine shaft just doing whatever um not not worrying about stuff uh it takes a lot of the stress away so you don't have to freak out come on where's the diamond i want my diamonds to like some Ooh, that reminds me of a movie called Blood Diamond. Maybe I need to go uh, watch that. I'm kind of big into movies, um, primarily because of my brother. Uh, my brother and I watch about a movie a day. Uh, he, he, he wants to do something in film. And since basically what I'm doing right now is I spend a lot of time making YouTube videos and stuff, it kind of ties into multimedia, you know, entertainment. And watching a lot of movies gives you a lot of ideas as well um, seeing how people direct stuff and film you know concepts and ideas and it's kind of cool um, finding awesome movies that you normally wouldn't watch and I watched uh, a couple things recently and I gotta say I think I'm full damn it uh, but that movie's not that bad it's kind of old mm, so so uh, this reminds me of another game. I wish I could remember what I call it, would call it. Uh, I think I found the end. And where's the mm, torches? Torch. I don't know if I'm going to find any diamond in this direction. See, I can't... Yeah, this is what I meant earlier. Like, I couldn't mine that block right here. See, it's not letting me... But if I mine this one, and then I mine this one, it'll let me get rid of it. Which I don't understand... Really? I kind of just don't get it, but, uh, okay, you know? <laughs> like, I'm not sure why it does that. If anyone knows, comment, because I'm a little confused by that. It's kind of weird. I don't, I don't see the point. Um, other than that, god, this is gonna take forever to find diamond. I think I'm gonna run upstairs and, uh, go put all my stuff away, like all this cobblestone and show you the house, because... There is a lot of unfinished business, um, and I need this cobblestone. So, what I'm gonna do? I'll get rid of the sand. Why not? Yeah, I'm 
going to use that to build the house, so that's why I wanted it. Don't hate. God, there's so much stuff down here. Like, look at all this. It's just all over the place. Um, I made these half slabs. This is another thing I wanted to point out. When you're mining, put these down. That way, when you, like, go back up. Well, I fucked that one up, obviously, but yeah. See, you just walk right up it, and it saves you time. And if you guys notice, my pattern's a little bit different. I actually went for every fifth step I dug down on. Uh, this is something you have to watch out for, too, is this overhang. Knock out the first two blocks, and then you can just walk straight up. You don't have to worry about anything. And I know my pathway's broken, because earlier I was mining, and I hit some dirt. And a gravel, I think, and it fell through, so I'm gonna have to repair some stuff right here. <laughs> yeah. That's awful. Alright, so we're gonna stick that there, there, alright. That was actually really rather simple. I thought I was gonna have to fix more than that. But I do need to knock this away. My mind chef's pretty much incomplete at this point in time. But I, at least I can see the uh, slab on the ground there, because now I know I can just pretty much walk straight up. If I don't run into more of this. Yeah, what do you know? I'm a nerd. Doofus. I messed up! It's okay, I make mistakes. I'm a Minecraft noob. I'm allowed to. I wonder how many of these I'm gonna make before I can call myself a Minecraft professional. Anyone? What's a good number? 5, 10, 20, 30, 50 of them? Maybe 100? Maybe after 100 episodes they could say I'm a Minecraft bro. But then again, I'll probably like mess that up by walking along and tripping into the lava face first. Uh, speaking of lava, apparently uh, movies have that shit wrong. If you fall in the lava, uh, you don't, like, sink into it like water. It's thick, and it's kind of, you know, it's molten rock, so it's not, like, oh, water. It doesn't have that consistency. So, what happens is you kind of fall on it, and you, you know, you just kind of, you're sitting there. And what would happen is, since it's about a thousand degrees Fahrenheit, you would just burst into flames. You're not going to melt. You're going to burst into flames. You're going to start lighting on fire, you know, and all this other stuff. It's, it's probably pretty pretty awful and terrible. And now I just scarred a bunch of you for life. My apologies. But I thought I'd share that little tad bit of information. I thought it was interesting. I find a bunch of, bunch of stuff on the internets when I'm uh, not making videos. This is my little mine, mine shaft over here. I threw a building up because I can. And uh, this is my house. I'm still working on it. It's... Uh, pretty cool but you guys be like whoa what's this cross what did you do what what happened uh i decided to make another staircase going down and uh this here is gonna be all glass i'm gonna switch this out i left this little gap here so i can get some light and i don't need all these torches right now but yeah i made this double winding staircase and then that's gonna be either my storage room or bedroom I haven't decided yet or i'll change it out with what's gonna be here so pretty much this is the basement I got this nice little pool, water, walkway thing. I like it. It's cool. And then I'm going to show you guys a little sneak peek right here. That's that's all you get to see for now. I'm like, no, no, door, no, no, stop it. Listen to me. There we go. All right, cool. But yeah, um, I'm going to fix all of this, and I'm going to replace it with glass because what's behind here is just water. And you can see out into the ocean and stuff like that. And I just barred it up that way. I can get a feeling for how big the room is going to be and where I needed to build stuff, where I needed to make the walls. Um, I think this will pretty much be glass. And then I'll do something over here. I haven't decided yet. But next time, I'm going to go back down into the mine and go find some diamonds. So this is Cross, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you soon with another episode.